Start by removing the top two screws on the front of your panel. Make sure all of your vacuum breaker hoses are disconnected from the panel. Raise straight up and it will lift off of the unit. Next, you're going to remove the sash. You're going to have to lift it straight up. You might need to get the ducting out of the way first so there is a place to lay the sash over. Once the sash is laying on the top, you're going to see that there is going to be slack in the chain. This is good, but you do need to crimp it down with an approved device to hold it in place. Next, you're going to take the screws out of the sash that the chain are held in by. After that, you're going to put the new sash in place and screw the screws back in, keeping this crimped the entire time. Once the chains are back secured, you're going to lower the sash back down into the guide tracks. This is easier with two people as you can each support on each side. Monitor the sash chain so that way it doesn't get kinked up inside of the tracks. Once you've got everything secured, go ahead and put back on the front panel.